student today also we are going to continue with the same topic direct and indirect speech uh, this is the last fab book exercise but not the least one okay so let us start with our exercise 7 now in this exercise you will see that imperative sentences are given so while changing the imperative sentence uh, at that time you have to remember few points now which are those points the reporting verb is changed to order request advice or some other suitable word the verb of the reported speech is changed into an infinitive tenses pronouns and words denoting nearness are changed according to rules already stated now you are already aware about uh, the nearness of the words right uh, for example uh, if it is here then there now to then ago before today that day tonight that night yesterday the previous day or the day before tomorrow the next day the following day uh, last night the previous night next week the following week then this this will become that and the as it these will become those okay so these are the nearness uh, now let us solve the exam the police inspector ordered the driver park your car on the side and follow me so the police inspector is our subject the driver is our object and order is already given so we'll mention also here order as a reporting verb okay and uh, after driver we have used to your will change to his and me will change to him so the answer will be the police inspector ordered the driver to park his car on the side and follow him so you can see that it's an imp it is an imperative sentence number two his father said to him make good use of your time now his father is our subject him is our object now say to will change to advised okay and after him we have added to your will become his so his father advised him to make good use of his time number three the editor said to the reporter rewrite this report in simple language so say to will change to ordered the editor is our subject the reporter is our object and after reporter we have added to and this will change to that so the editor ordered the reporter to rewrite that report in simple language number four my mother said to me do not lose courage in any situation my mother is our subject me is our object say to will change to advised and uh, we will make the sentence that my mother advised me not to lose courage in any situation number five the doctor said to her keep this bottle away from the children so the doctor is our subject her is our object say to will change to advised and after her we have added to this will change to that and uh, the answer will be the doctor advised her to keep that bottle away from the children number six you say to him do not worry about me now you, you is our subject he is our object say to will change to told and uh, we have added to so you told him not to worry about you number seven the angry master said to him get out of this house immediately the angry master is our subject he is our object say to will change to commanded uh, and uh, this will change to that so the answer will be the angry master commanded him to get out of that house immediately number eight the captain said to the soldiers face the enemy bravely the captain is our subject the soldiers is our object said to will change to inspire uh, and uh, the answer will be the captain inspired the soldiers to face the enemy bravely number nine Number 9. The teacher said to the student, read the questions very carefully before you start writing the answers. So, the teacher is our subject, the student is our object. Say to will change to advised and uh, you will change to they and start will remain as it is. So, the teacher advised the student to read the questions very carefully before they start writing the 
answers. Number 10. Mrs. Ayer said to her daughter, never buy an eatable from roadside. So, Mrs. Ayer is our subject, her daughter is our object. Said to will change to advised. So, Mrs. Ayer advised her daughter never to buy any eatables from roadside. Number 11. She said to her daughter, do not speak ill of others. So, she is our subject, her daughter is our object. Said to will be uh, advised and uh, here uh, it others thing will remain as it is only we have to remove do she advised her daughter not to speak ill for of others number 12 my friend said to me do not waste your time in idle gossip so my friend is our subject me is our object said to will change to advised and we will remove do and we will add to that my friend advised me not to waste any time on idle gossip so children i hope that you have understood whole direct and indirect lesson very clearly and you will try to solve more and more examples by your own thank you and have a joyful day